Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another eyeshadow palette resin pour that is. But this time instead of mixing all the colours together to get five different shades from the same palette by combining let's say the orange with another similar orange, I'm going to do a different pot for each individual colour because of this palette is so unique and very bright. I want it to emphasise every single colour. This does mean I will have a limited amount of colours to go around, that's the amount that is, but it will make this so much more interesting than just combining all the similar colours together, because unlike the other ones, these are individual. There are some similarities, like I said, with this colour and this one, and maybe these two colours, but they can all individually stand by themselves, and I want this resin pour to represent that. So, the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be doing today is another sleek one, and this one is called Rio Rio, the 424, if you're interested. It's probably the greatest palette in the world that I used for a very long time, especially when I used to go to Glastonbury Festival. I still do go to Glastonbury Festival, but because of, obviously, Covid, it has been cancelled last year. It's a really nice collection of colours. You do have some natural tones in there, but you also have some very bright and vibrant ones to work with as well. So I'm hoping for a very bright but and vibrant but very pigmented resin pour for this one. So fingers crossed. I'm just going to get set up and then we'll get straight to it. I'm going to start. I've got such a wide choice of colours, I don't know where to start. Um, I'll go for a bit of this red. It has been quite cold in this room today, so... um. Just have to bear that in mind when it comes to mixing. I am going to use a hair dryer throughout this process, and I have layered a layer of resin on top so it can just spread out like it's doing there. So this is your heat gun warning. Quite nice just to drag the um wind stick through the canvas. Just have to go a bit crazy with it as well. Good morning. Got 
Nelson. Thick pieces of resin. Not resin, eyeshadow on the side. Already really loving this. <laughs> I haven't even added the green yet, so that should be fun. I'm gonna stick with some of the lighter colours still. not what I wanted. Hey, good morning. in some really crystal white Good morning. don't want to do any more to this. Is that bad? <laughs> Trying to point it that way. You can see the colours better. It's very vibrant and you can see parts of the camera still but I really like the fact that you can see it. The only thing I do think it's missing out of the palette is the green. So I'm going to quickly add that in and call it a day on this. All this resin I will be making another one since I've got good few canvases to spare at the moment. There you go, that's a full house then on the um, palette. I'm just going to quickly hair dry the green.
So any accident, but where little bits of eyeshadow pop free, as the resin's moved, it's made these kind of wordy bits. You can definitely see it on this side, but I'm sure this will continue to move as I go along. If I do want to add some more to it, because I think this is enough for this composition, I can do once it's dried. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is probably going to be part one, because I'm definitely coming back to this canvas and to layer up a bit more. I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you for my next part of this video. Bye now.